It was a warm Sunday evening, when we had just moved into the new house. When we had gotten settled, I was so exhausted from the trip, I went straight to bed. I was only asleep for a few minutes before I awoke to a loud rumbling outside. When I looked outside, I saw a child in train printed pajamas just standing there. His pajamas were splattered with red, and unsure of what else to do, I shut my eyes tight, hoping whatever I was seeing would leave. After another moment of silence, I got back up to see if the little boy was still there. He had left, but I still felt terrified. I returned to bed, trying to forget about the ominous boy. I didn't breathe a word about the strange child to my parents about it the next morning. I went on the internet and searched missing children in Arizona in an attempt to identify the young boy. All I got were pictures and sightings of other children until I came across a sort of chain mail that described someone that sounded similar to who I saw the other night. The email claimed that the boy would hunt people down and strangle them unless they fed him a loved one. I didn't believe it so I went to the next page. I was greeted with a screenshot of an email. He will strangle you unless you play trains with him. If you don't, he will strangle you with his teddy bear. The notion chilled me to the bone. Confused and frightened, I called my friend, a paranormal enthusiast, and explained the situation to him. I'll be right over, he promised. Feeling a bit safer, I wait. It was 3.32am when me and my friend were reading over the emails. I remember feeling unusually cold while we pored over the piles of printed out chain letters. After a loud rumble, my friend suggested looking upstairs. Looking around on the second floor, trying to find the source of the sound. I jumped, a loud screech of pain ringing throughout the house. Everything suddenly became quiet. And then I heard that small voice whisper in my ear. Choo-choo. 